Hey, what is up everybody? It's Timur here. Before the video starts, I want to remind you, only 10% of people who are watching my channel have subscribed, the rest didn't. Consider to press the subscribe button if you're interested in a variety of broken builds and other stuff. But today's video is not gonna have any broken stuff. Today, the only person who's gonna be broken is me. Yesterday, yesterday, I had one of those days when I ended up getting tilted in a way and pretty much with some... Um, you know, I got tilted and I went on a rampage of a rampage of a losing streak. And even though that I knew I could have stopped any time, I decided to actually experience how far we'll be able to get. And, um, you know, whether or not it's just about luck or maybe it's skill or maybe it's a um, combination of both and or gear difference. You know, there is a lot of things that could be involved, but uh, for the most part, uh, sometimes things just don't go as planned and today's video I want to show you you know one of those days when things went wrong so for anyone curious I've probably shown you the amount of times that I've died and basically this is the current outcome yesterday I died more than double amount of times than I would have <laughs> yeah I died 16 times yesterday and um you know, it was it was something, but I didn't want to give up, and I want to keep going just to see um, how much uh, <laughs> sanity I'm gonna lose in the process. But anyway, let's open the video. Let's go break down some mistakes, and I hope you enjoy this video with me. All right, so the first game was actually quite hilarious. I killed one very very good player, and then uh, um, basically I encountered a group of uh, like four teamers. <laughs> I come across the uh, warlock and the warlock seemed to be kind of chill and he was like oh yeah let's fucking go keep fighting so I was like alright but so yeah I went with that warlock and um I was trying to fight off a group of teamers basically and after I got ambushed by them so then I came across the cleric and I decided to oh, fuck I gotta go chase him he looked like he didn't have much stuff and um he looked like the guy was the um Leather pants or whatever the fuck are those? I was like, no way he possessed any threat, right? So I ended up chasing him all the way up until the very end. It felt like I was doing damage to him. Probably I was ahead. At least that's what it felt like. But I guess the reality could have been slightly different to what I would have anticipated. And pretty much we got to the doorway. I blast him. I probably didn't do too much damage he keeps running away i blessed him already for the second time and um i do believe i hit him a couple of times i went on i kept chasing basically a little tom and jerry gameplay right here he popped a bandage seems like he does not want to take a fight i hit him once twice three times and i get stuck um, and then I look at one thing in particular. My home is gear, not just insane, but fucking ridiculous. One of those green smiles costs more than my whole gear set. I spent around, um, a little under 4,000 gold to buy my kit. His whole kit, holy fuck, that one ring alone is uh, over 5,000 gold. And he has two of those. Most of his stuff is legendary. He's absolutely fucking juiced out to the teeth absolute fucking insanity i almost got him killed though if uh, i didn't get stuck i probably would be able to back off a little and um you know do the um, little bit of re-engagement because uh, i got him so freaking low he was right there you know right there to get cooked but oh well sometimes you know things like this happen and you are the one who's gonna get cooked in the process on my second game, I came across one of the most pathetic rats I probably came across in quite a while. A warlock that just sits on the fucking elevator, doesn't move a muscle. That was slightly frustrating me, maybe a little bit infuriating as well. I didn't want to take him as a threat, he looked like not much of a geared player, and all he does was sitting on the fucking elevator. I walked up close to blast the fuck out of him, give him little bit of uh, judgment and well I figured one thing in particular there is a fucking guy right below <laughs> so well let's in here fuck around and find out I guess I bunked the guy to the desk 
he hit me four times in the process i was kind of low the homie though the barb homie is uh, geared he was actually a lot more geared than i thought he would be and uh, my current gear set is basically pdr based so i wasn't that fast i heard a bunch of noise coming from multiple directions so i didn't really have much time to think i had to actually either commit to a fight I almost killed the um, homie panther and I had to go up, there wasn't really many options for me, I found the warlock, he was still there, well I don't think he knew how low I was so he didn't really push me and um, yeah that was one of the first times when I could have ended up dying, what would be the better way, well don't mess around with warlocks, fucking stupidest class still isn't nerfed, still out there you know to be abused so yeah while the warlocks kept sitting on a fucking elevator i want to actually go and fight and basically the homie circled around went up to the elevator i thought of it as my opportunity to jump in and this guy is geared and i want to get his stuff Mm, the warlock decided to engage the fight understandable he did so little damage that um well it was kind of too little i'm gonna be honest so i decided to go and fuck with the panther and now the warlock is on me i had to go back i pushed him away slightly i got to the elevator i ran out of smite and i fucking ended up getting cooked hard in the process my best bet would be to get to the doorway, but um, he did a really cool move that he blocked me out. I ended up dying. That's pretty much it. So if you get to ask me what I could have done better, just simply not fight next to a warlock. Um, the guy was acting like an absolute fucking rat, never engaging the fight until I engaged and tried to just third party. Simple as that. I mean, third party is just so common, so there is nothing wrong with that. But yeah, I ended up getting cooked by the warlock and I shouldn't even fought next to a warlock like that. Simple as that. So I decided to throw a little kit together. I spent probably close to 5,000 gold just through a bunch of stuff that I had that looked kind of pretty. <laughs> um and quite effective like this time around i already tried using slightly different build which was paladin basically it's divine protection and smite and this is how it went basically this is my third game i'm already kind of tilted i got ambushed by the rogue i hit him a couple of times he ended up dying and um basically this is what happened next I checked the homie's gear set, he was like kind of cheesed out, I was like oh hell yeah, I'll take that. Up until the point I heard the screaming fucking mage, so it seems like there we have somebody else coming up. And there was a barbarian. I honestly just didn't expect that I would be able to whip so hard. Basically I got hit once, I used my Q right after he whipped his attack, so I did. I started training hits, I headshotted him. I wasn't sure how much health he had on him, um, but um, basically I just thought he is kind of healthy and that's why I started to run away. I literally underestimated how much damage I did to the homie. I got away, I wanted to bait out the first hit and uh, try to attack him or maybe make him step in the trap. He missed his first hit, he did a jump, and uh, he ended up killing me. And yeah, I wanted to get a smite on so that I would be able to land the first attack. And the amount of health he had was fucking one hit. If I knew how much health he had, well, I would have just simply tried and forced that one attack. But I thought he would take more than one hit to kill, so it is what it is. Okay, so this time around I came across a Mr. Druid. This homie is geared, but my gear set is also quite decent. I spent um, another 4,000 gold to get a kid set down. And basically I was like, holy hell, I'm gonna go and fuck this guy up. But um, I didn't have a judgment and basically um, that kind of threw me off in a way. But pretty much this is how the fight went. I went in, I wanted him to push me in so that uh, I would be able to use my paladin abilities. But uh, little did I fucking know how the fucking bear works. 
probably I should have like literally stay on him like, so not let him turn into the bear but basically he just pushed me into the wall and I wasn't even able to land one attack there was a one tiny opportunity where I could have squeezed in and get on the other side but I would be very low at that point as well anyway this guy did something insane something that I have never really experienced and now that I think of it probably the judgment cleric is gonna be a better play much better than um paladin the more i think of it more i realize the paladin probably is not gonna be the play unless you're gonna be relying on invisible potions by paladin i meant the combination of divine protection and smite on my next game i had to recover so i ended up killing the whole lobby and um i needed some cheese to come back i ended up making slightly under 6000 gold and um that was a little come up but overall i still went negative here um mainly due to the fact that the first time i ended up dying was nearly 5000 gold and the um couple of times right after was around three and a half to four thousand right after i came across the druid very geared one i've seen him in the pre lobby the homie is giga cheesed out up until the point i realized this is my homie and i was like nah that i'm right that i'm right luffy i was wondering who the fuck am i <laughs> Wait, were you last game? Was that you last game? No, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. No, I'm. Oh, dude, fucking, there was such a yeah. good cleric. We fought like half the really? game, dude. It was insane. Oh hell yeah. yeah dude. You want to do the fight though? Yo, what's up? Yo, what's no, up, dog man? It's been a yeah, 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 yeah. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> it's been a minute, dude. How you doing? So like, pretty dog? much, we kept interrupting each other, and we ended up talking until the end we of the game. Yep, and then we just went and extracted. <laughs> There is one thing in particular that I wanted to test is the um, hitter shield. I haven't really played much with the hitter shield, so I don't have too much experience. Basically, I thought I would be able to win this guy, even though it feels like I was actually landing those shots. Apparently, I wasn't really doing much to this homie. He kind of started to keep pressuring me. I used the uh, blue potion, at least I tried to. I tried to synchronize our movements. The gear difference though is actually quite drastic. Um, he has like 20% action speed, that was kind of bonkers. Haven't really came across those. Um, he kind of pushed me into the wall. That's one hit, two hits, three, four hits, and it just was enough to kill him somehow. Even though that I had 160 health, it just wasn't enough to kill him. But overall, that was right. The gear difference was quite drastic. And the difference that I saw here is that um, he used the troll's blood and he basically used um, it as the main getaway because he was able to heal up. And basically the second time he recommitted, the only difference why he ended up winning was due to the fact that I didn't expect a troll's blood. That's all. Alright, so I put another like two and a half thousand worth gold kit. This time I want to be slightly faster. The idea still remains the same. And I, I also want to practice more with the hitter shield, so even though if I would have died, I would have taken that as a form of a practice, so it was uh, definitely something to work with. So there is one thing that uh, I did completely wrong, is I shouldn't have used the smite like that. I should have sm used the smite right before they committing to a fight. Um, the homie has spells I don't, so if I let him slide, I would have died. At a time, I didn't really, you know, evaluate it that much. Also... I'm not 100% certain how do you exactly block everything because um, I've noticed people manage to um, um, bypass the shield even though I block it. It still fucking doesn't always work. And I got clapped. Well, he ended up having literally one shot right after. He healed himself and basically if I would have landed one and more hit, he would have ended up dying. So basically the homie was actually a really good shield player and basically he ended up kind of clapping my cheeks in a way with the shield. The homie was actually blocking stuff if I don't land those hits, he would have ended up dying. Um, he was one hit short from dying, he also got hit by the center pit, but um, he was able to sleep up and get away. There was another homie in the um, same tile, so I had to heal up and uh, I had to actually find the quick way to recover. I went right up, 
I was interested in fighting. I didn't really plan to go to the um, static. If anything, I wanted to use it. I hit him once. I hit him twice. He missed one of the hits. I missed one hit as well. So we both kind of split it. And then I got pushed by a homie. There wasn't really that many options where I could have gone. I got a hit in the back. Used a little bit of parkour. I was able to get away. Almost died right here. Had to recover again. This was way too close. I went up. I saw them fighting. I probably should have closed the door here. But um, I wasn't able to land my second hit. So I switched up my targets to fight this guy. And um, this fight took really well. Basically the homie was just not planning to die. I went on full chase. Mm, but the homie was very fast. I ended up circling him around multiple times. I have no idea where the other player went. Basically, I tried to squeeze in. I'm already kind of getting cocked. Because uh, he would be able to simply recover and I don't have that much power. So I tried to pop one bandage off. He panicked, he used his smite. He pre-buffed and his full HP. I hit him once. I hit him twice, I hit him one more time, and I'm getting third fighted by a homie. Also I got a lock, and um, the homie was able to bypass every shit. So I mean, they're just um, unfortunate circumstances, the homie is pretty geared. If anything, I should have closed the door and um, end up killing this guy, but it is what it is. After that I got my lock back. I went on a 5 game win streak and uh, pretty much I was feeling quite confident and ended up recovering from all the losses I get up until the point I came across this rogue. Usually I'm not really scared of rogues, this guy is different. This homie brought in probably fucking whole arsenal. The amount of stuff he had, I, it was just ridiculous, I don't get to play with gear like this. And basically the homie was just fucking... Well, he killed me in 4 hits, simple as that. And the thing is, even if I would have used my Q, the difference actually could be right there. But um, yeah, that shit was crazy, the homie absolutely destroyed me. Um, if I would have used both Q and E, I may have got a chance. But um, you never know, this homie is extremely geared and uh, he has a weak point as well. Also, the way he moves is actually pretty fucking good, he is a really skillful player. There's one thing that I could tell you that every time you die, don't worry and just report every single person. Because the thing is, out of, um, even though I ended up dying yesterday like uh, 10 times or something, out of these 10 times, two people got banned. And um, pretty much the little suggestion that I got from one of my homies is that to report literally everyone. And basically there is way too many cheaters currently in normals. And it's okay, listen, it's understandable. The game is free to play and I'm pretty sure a lot more people gonna get on the evil path. So yeah, just throw a report and forget about it. Nobody gonna get hurt if, um, you know, you report them. Basically, Arma is just gonna simply check, you know, their files or their accounts or something. If they get way too many wins or something, or if they get way too many reports, I'm not sure how exactly it works, other than the fact that... Um, if you are legit, you will not get banned. I know that for sure. Anyway, with this, the video gonna come to an end. I hope you enjoyed today's little episode. It's demo. I got my cheeks clapped today. <laughs> but at the end of the day, well, that was a quite decent experience. I ended up figuring a couple of things out. And uh, even though I ended up dying today a lot, I ended up recovering pretty much all back. I didn't show the games where I win, but um, I had a couple of uh, win streaks, which uh, pretty much brought me everything that I lost. And even though I got tilted the fuck out, I still want to keep going, you know, to see um, where is going to be the break point. But anyway, there was no break point and I enjoyed the whole experience. It's Timo and I'll see you in a dungeon.